Hi guys, hope you all have a fantastic day. Well, I'm back. Sorry for not uploading. I was doing another project, but everything was in such a hurry. I couldn't record anything because it was important to get it done as quick as possible. So yeah, I, I couldn't record it because that would take so much longer. But I'm gonna post some pictures on Instagram. On my Instagram it was another Neva and I think it looks really really good. So I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. You can check it there. But now let's get back to this Neva. Well, this Neva is my daily driver. So I need it to work. And I think I have a bad fuel pump. I know you should check the relays, then this and that, but I am 90% sure it's the fuel pump because uh, when you turn the, the keys to ignition on, it's not humming always and when I'm driving, it's not always driving good and I believe it's a bad fuel pump for that reason and when I got the car, it was sitting for three years and it was a so 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 little fuel in it i believe the fuel pump got all the junk so maybe the just the filter is clogged up or something but I, the ladders are known to have a bad fuel pump so i'm just gonna replace everything and then i know everything is new and hopefully she will she is going to start and there was there is not going to be problems so yeah let me show you how to get to the fuel pump okay i believe if you are alone and don't need to record you can just push this back seat to the front and this rubber mat and then you're gonna have enough room to work on it but i don't know i'm always removing it because it's easier but if you just want to remove the fuel pump as quick as possible i think you can do it that way and if I'm somewhere on the trail or something, I will try to do it this way. But I need to record it and everything. So I'm just going to take everything out so that we, we <laughs> can have a much, much more room inside. Okay, that's enough of me talking. Let's grab some tools and get to the fuel tank. okay now this is underneath this is our fuel and i think it's the easiest way to remove the rear seat because this is going to get in your way now when i'm doing it uh, it's easier to remove the seat so it's best to remove the seat okay <laughs> now we need to remove all these bolts no all these bolts here and then we are gonna have a fuel tank as exposed Okay, so that's our fuel tank and now we need to remove these two lines, unplug this and this, then these bolts around. So yeah, this is 17 millimeter, so just remove it and then remove those little ones and then everything should just come out. Okay, let's remove that. The fuel pump is out and if you're wondering about this blue tape, I'm just super lazy and I put the one blue tape here and the hose that's connected here, I put the blue tape as well so that I don't need to remember. And I bought this whole new assembly, it's in the box, so I just need to put like this one, just a brand new and just put in, I don't need to change this fuel pump or anything I bought a whole new system so it's the easy way to do you just put the new one in and that's it and I don't know if you can see it but there is a lot of this little clogs up on the filter so I think I did a cool good call with replacing this part so I'm just gonna grab the new one off the camera and then we can put everything back together so yeah let's hear it run guys 
the fuel pump is in, so let's try it. I don't know if you can hear it on camera, but you can hear, hear some sort of humming. And that's the fuel pump priming the fuel. So now if I turn the key, it should No leaks. Okay, so now I'm just gonna quick everything put back together and then we are done. And in a couple of days I'm gonna know if I fixed the problem, but I really believe I did. So it's really not the heart of the job. Me with recording, it took me like an hour and I don't know. So it's really not that hard to do. If you have a problem or you want to be sure, just replace it. It's like 80 euros, so it's not that expensive. And yeah, just replace it. it you're not gonna regret, regret it. It's always good to have a new fuel pump in. So when you're on the road, you don't get stuck on the road. You should be stuck in the mud, not on the road. Okay, let's put this all back together real quick. She still works. That's really good. Yeah, I'm thinking that was a problem. And <coughs> sorry. Hopefully everything is good now. I will let you know in the future videos if everything is fixed. But now you know how to change a fuel pump. And that's the most important thing. If you are boring on the weekend or something, you can just remove, check your fuel pump and then put everything together. Just for fun. Yeah, no, don't do that. Uh, but it's really easy to change it. You can, you can do it yourself. Everyone can do it. So you just need a 17 to 17 millimeter wrench and 7 millimeter socket, and that's it. And yeah, and Philip head screwdriver. That's it. That's all you need. So yeah, guys, and 13 millimeter socket for the seats. So guys. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Well, in the next video, we are gonna hopefully remove all the glass from our Niva project and start working even more. Well, guys, see you in the next video. Please like, share and subscribe and bye.